Now in this experiment, students are actually going to measure the speed of light. And this is a really great experiment for grades 6th, 7th, and 8th grade because it not only teaches the students about light speed, it also teaches them about how light travels as a wave. They're going to learn how to measure the speed of light basically using a bar of chocolate. Are you ready? Let me show you what you need to do. Unwrap a bar of chocolate and place it on a plate. Open up your microwave and remove the turntable from inside your microwave. Insert your chocolate bar into the microwave and close the door. Start your microwave, but keep an eye on it because you are looking for two hot spots in your microwave. This will show up as two burn marks on your chocolate bar. A microwave heats your food up because it basically shoots light beams at your food. Now if you only get one of these marks, open up your microwave, move your chocolate bar to a new location, and try again. Your first task is to find your hot spots in your microwave. Place the chocolate bar where you get two hot spots on your chocolate bar. Measure the distance from the centers of the hot spots in centimeters and divide your number by 100 to get the distance in meters. Multiply this number by 2 to get your wavelength. The distance you measure is only for half the wavelength, so that's why you need to multiply by 2. For example, if you measured a distance of 6.2 centimeters, your wavelength will be 0.124. Find the sticker on the inside of the microwave that tells you the frequency of the microwave. The number should be around 2450 MHz. Multiply your wavelength by your frequency to get the speed of light. Don't forget that MHz means 1 million. So whatever number you multiply by, add six zeros to the end of it. The speed of light has been measured at 300 million meters per second. What number did you get? For a distance of 6.2 centimeters, we get 303 million meters per second, which is very close. If you want more free experiments like this, just visit my website at www.bestsciencelearning.com. I've got dozens of experiments and videos and tons of resources to help you and your kids learn science. My focus is not just on teaching science, but in helping kids develop a real sense of fascination and personal interest in it. So go ahead and download your free copy of the Science Experiment and Activity Guide, plus free experiment videos and more right now. Go to www.bestsciencelearning.com right now and get your free experiments. Happy experimenting. I'll see you in the lab.